Hello everybody, it's Dragon again, and today we're going to finish Presto's Broken Dream. Uh, I really hope that there is no, like, secret ending for beating any of these, uh, bonus areas, because I did not save that. With that said, oh, I can't walk across the, to the other side, huh? I was curious whether, well, okay, that answers my question. Final level, Mecha Fortress. Ooh, different way to enter the level. What I had wondered was whether you'd enter the level with the beam on Presto or the beam on the warp. Question being, which, which how would it look centered? Ow. Um. Well. My question is, is there any sort of penalty for not taking the right path? And we're inside the fortress. Uh, well, I guess the only thing we can do here is... Oh, we got two different ways to go. We got a hole, we got an exit. What's this? Nothing? I guess something will be put there. Let's go down through the exit first. Um... Nothing happened. Okay, they turn blue. Any particular reason why? Oh, I bet now they'll turn black. I was right. Oh, I bet this is going to open something up because of their color. Yes, no? Yes. That wasn't open before. Or was it? I don't think it... Oh, maybe it was. Where'd the hole go? Okay, let me turn them back off. Okay, the hole is back. You can still reach these doors. I don't really get it. Uh... Let's go through the hole. I figure as long as it's disappearing, it must be important. Hello, Black Room. I bet you have some invisible stuff in you. Well, this doesn't seem at all difficult. There doesn't seem... Once again, there does not seem to be a penalty for bumping into these. It just lets you know that, oh hey, this is where we are. Might as well not even be amazed that turns black. Okay, we got a key. Uh, let's go through this door next. Let's not go through that door next. This one? Nope. I guess that has something to do with the color changing. So... Let's go ahead and change the colors. We'll flip this one and the red one. Now that we changed it. Oh, look up there. Okay, so. I don't know why the hole disappears when you have those switches turned on. I'm guessing uh, I didn't mess up by choosing to go through the right, uh, different way first. Okay, so, is this important? Well, let's see what this does. It did nothing.
Well, let's hit all three then. Well, something happened. Oh, I bet I know what's going on. It's this different kind of maze. You have to press the... My guess is you have to press the buttons in a certain order and then... Well, I don't know. Well, let's step on this green one first. And then the blue and then the tile. Oh! In, e in each order. Green, uh, one, then the next, then the next. So let's try this. Green, blue, and tile in that order. Green, blue, tile. Green, blue, tile. Green, blue, tile, I guess. Well, we made it. And we hit the button and nothing happened. I really hope the button stayed pressed. Please tell me the button stayed pressed. It stayed pressed, good. I love these puzzles! What exactly did that do, though? Did that open a chest? I bet that opens a chest. Nope, I was wrong. What does it do, then? Can we touch that? No? Well, we don't need to be up there anymore. And we can't get over there yet. Although I have a feeling I'm going to have to be pressing these buttons again whenever I go over there. Um, is there another exit over there? I don't see one. Well, I'm just going to hit these and then I'm going to leave. I don't know what that purple button did. All I know is we don't really have another key. Well, let's just change it to regular red then. Because that seems to be the only thing we can do at this point. Ah, opened up the red fairy. Don't know what the purple button did, but I'm sure we'll find out. We'll take, um... Kotaru along with us, and... Okay, so we're apparently... Well, what happens if we try going up there ourselves? It won't let us. So for some reason, we gotta get this robot down to us. Once again, very creative. And now we fast forward. Come to us, robot. That opened... A treasure chest? Oh, it's gotta be the next key. Can't do that anymore. Does it allow us to go up, or are we still not allowed to? We are still not allowed to. But we got the next key! So, I guess next we're gonna go open the purple thing. The purple? What color is it? Oh, it's green. Wait, which color do we want to open next? Well, if we do just green, we'll have the our flame uh, ice buddy here. Yellow is what we want to get up there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go with just green first. Alright. Oh, it's this maze again. Alright then. Just travel along. Is there any point to this dead end? No? Okay. Traveling along then. Okay, I was wondering when this would start branching. Uh, I'm guessing the top one. 
Yep. This is pretty straightforward aside from that one branch over in the corner. Key? Key. And we'll be needing to get, uh, use that to get into the center door. Where we'll likely have to have all three switches lit up in order to get the color white. But first things first, I want to head off and to the yellow room. So I'll meet you back there. Okay, here we are in this room. Okay. Green. Blue. Tile green. Blue. Switch. Ah. And that opens... That. Oh. Well, I thank you. I guess next we just... I really hope that up ahead it, it has these treasure chests out in the open and I don't have to be switching them around again. So I'm gonna turn on the very last switch and... Well that's kinda confusing because they already uh, automatically start off white. before it actually shows you what color it really is. Alright, this should get us to white. I still don't get the deal with the hole. And what's the deal with this, also? Is this a color I didn't try? Well, before I go up there, I'm gonna see if I can get anything to happen on this spot here. They say good things come to those who wait. But you don't have to wait to watch the next mini-sode! <laughs>